Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Chris Garinger, who I'm having on the channel, liked my Instagram. And not, not only liked it, but he commented. And this person that I've been going back and forth with that's like been scheduling the, the, the interview, her name is Liz, followed me on Instagram, which is cool. I sent her a gift too, so I sent Chris prior. This is interesting, because I had so much time, like this was this has been scheduled for a long this has been scheduled for like a month or if not a month and a half i sent them both their gifts prior to the interview saying i'm excited to have you guys on here's the gift kind of thing oh, yo it'd be sick if he was wearing the tuto shirt in the interview that would be crazy now now that i'm thinking of it, that's actually brilliant that's actually brilliant to send these things the gifts if i have enough time beforehand so if they feel like it they could be wearing a tuto shirt that's brilliant so i sent him a tuto shirt and coffee i sent a person i, I want to say probably the manager or like the, the the pa or assistant or just the person that like runs the office apparently uh, at, at that studio uh, I sent her coffee and uh, so just building relationships man building relationships all right But now like I said last night the prices for for tickets were a hundred dollars to go round trip now It looks like it's gonna be a little bit more so like part of me is like I want to really Part of me. I just I spoke to Jamie She's cool with me going as long as we work we get figure out with bullet and I spoke to my parents They said they'd be willing to help out uh, because like Jamie like Jamie works 12-hour shifts And if she's gone leaves at 6 a.m. Gets home at 8 p.m. That's a 14 hour day for Bullet to be home alone. Obviously we can't do that. So like parents would be able to help out on the days that she works. The sucky part of that she's like working like all the time in that whole time frame. Uh, and the times that she's not working, like are th times when we have like weddings or something like that. So obviously I can't go. So I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna book it and just be like, it's gone and we're gonna figure it out from there. That's it, see, see, we are so, and I'm not speaking this out loud. We are so, I'm realizing we are like, we are so different. She's like, let's plan it all first. And I've always been like, no, I'll just book it and then we'll figure it out. Now that I'm realizing, speaking that out loud, I realize that's, that's so similar to my work personality. I'm the kind of guy that's like, let me film the video, post it, and then adjust from there. So many other people, which which I, I like, that's how it works for me. But other people, you know, which is typically a slower process, is figure it out, plan all the steps, and then take it from there. Tickets have been purchased, baby. He's my pal. <laughs> He's pretty cool, man. Yeah, he just hangs out. That's amazing. Does he respond if you call him Kiwi? Like you say Kiwi? No. <laughs> no. That, that's the thing too. It's like, they're not like dogs where you can, like, yeah. I just bought my New York to Nashville and Nashville to LA tickets. They are booked. $39 going to Nashville and $31 going to LA or vice versa. $31. 31 to LA, Nashville and 39 to LA, something like that. Regardless, I'm waiting for the, my new, LA to New York one because that one doubled in price overnight. So I'm gonna wait a little to see if it, prices go down. I, but we're booked, baby, we're going. <laughs> All right, we are back in the studio, or should I say just in the studio, not even back in the studio. Just dropped off something at my friend's house. Did you see that the cute man, that cute little bird? It's for that, I dropped off a speaker for a wedding that I'm going to that you're gonna use it for a uh, the rehearsal dinner. I'm pumped, people are responding. I, I officially booked those tickets. So like Jerry, Jerry uh, uh, Flowers, we're gonna meet for coffee. Like he already responded. Like now I'm about to go live. I wanna make sure that, because I had all those live issues two days ago. I wanna make sure the live works well and I'm able to record while live before I go and uh, do the interview later today so i want to just make sure everything's all set but plus i gotta film some videos so do both at the same time i was gonna say kill two birds with one stone but that seems very inappropriate after i just hanging out with that bird so we'll say feed two birds with one bread there we go all right just finished filming seven videos it is time for lunch i'm mad hungry let's go get that all right currently exporting a whole bunch of tiktoks i've been slacking though man i haven't been posting as much as i want like they get to my phone but they don't end up posting them so i need to Pushing back a little, but we're still posting more than I have before, so that's progress. All right, 14 more videos being uploaded to later. And I just rescheduled a bunch of them over here, so we're good. We're still posting, baby. We're still posting. You guys want to hear something funny? So I booked on my airline tickets today, and somebody on a live stream today tells me that as of yesterday, or, or as of this morning, yeah, I think it was yesterday, as of yesterday, Spirit Airlines employees are going on strike. <laughs> No wonder tickets are so cheap. Oh my gosh, that's funny. I mean, look, my I'm a, I'm a month away, so like I'm not that concerned. It's a publicly traded company. Like it can't be that bad, but like it is kind of funny. I'm like, hey, this is a stock market move. When the when the people are fearful, 
be greedy. When people are greedy, be fearful. People are freaking out, so airline tickets go down. So I capitalize on it, and I I make money, or I buy cheap tickets. You know what I mean? If if so, hey, I'm not gonna complain. Zoom. Chris Geringer has joined your meeting. Freak me out for a second. It's set for 4 p.m. and he joined at 2:55. I'm like, snap! Did I mess something up? But I think it's for four, and there hasn't been a missed thing saying I'm late. So <laughs> Chris Geringer has entered the waiting room. <laughs> All right, well, guess who just wrapped up the interview with Chris Geringer and at the end of the interview got an invite to Sterling Sounds studio, man. I said, hey, man, like, I, you know, I'd love to stay in touch. I said, you know, New York is not that far from Jersey. And he's like, if you're ever in the area or if you ever just want to take a trip down, I'd love to, you know, have you in the studio. I'll show you around and give you a tour of the studio. I'll let you hear the speakers. Like, the speakers that he's mixed, Madonna, Dua Lipa, Harry Styles, BTS, like, Jaden, Machine like, a massive hits, like... Lady Gaga, like holy mac, those speakers, yes, those speakers, the same studio that all those artists have stood in, you know, like, or the majority of those artists have stood in. Yeah, you bet I'm, I'll be taking you up on that offer. I'm gonna I'm wait a week and then shoot an email saying, hey, I'm gonna be passing through Jersey for the day. <laughs> That's wild, man. If you, Chris, if you ever see this, I'd love, uh, I'd love, uh, I, I, I appreciate your time tremendously and thank you, thank you so much. Okay, we got a candle lit, seltzer, bullet <laughs> we're about to finish hopefully or at least work on at least work on the music video yo what what <laughs> what are you serious oh man now i look like the more and they have to follow back why wasn't i following the first place oh jacob oh shoot what? Hit him up on Monday, you bet, man. Oh my gosh, let's go in the calendar right now. I said enough is enough, so now I'm giving you up. You know good, no Nothing but lust, and lust is never enough. You're no good, no good for me.